Getting a hang of this thing. Getting a hang of it. Hello, beautiful souls. Happy Wednesday. Wednesday. We are going to meditate today. We are going to love ourselves in this moment. So invite some deep breaths. Mm. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Guys, tap in at work. I love it. Mwah. Sending love to you wherever you are. Invite some deep breaths into your body, the deepest you have taken today. We are at the traditional midday, being noon. So this is our time we get to take to ourselves, take with ourselves, and uh, come home to our bodies. So invite some deep breaths. Mm, yes, you do. I love you. Mm. Yes, I love myself. <laughs> so, so much. Mm. With every breath, we express gratitude. Just breathe gratitude into every corner of your being right now. Feel how it feels to be grateful for yourself. Invite love into your body with gratitude. Mm. No matter what's happened today, no matter what's been going on, this is where you, this is where you belong right now. Time for the self, for the soul. Mm. You deserve this. Mm. You love yourself enough for this. yourself.
let a deep breath uh, into your vessel. Feel it in your chest, in your rib cage. Uh, and let it out. Let it out. Yummy, yummy. How are you feeling today? How do you feel in your body today? You have access to that at any moment. That access to self, it's just right there. All that you need to do is take a pause and listen. Listen to your body. Listen to the feelings in your body. In your body. Not your mind, not quite. Focus on your body. What's it telling you? What's it asking for? Is there just silence? Mm. Building self-love is building that relationship with your body, with your soul in this human body to feel grounded on the same page with yourself drained but meditation always helps taking a moment to yes it always helps whenever i feel that we can identify it as pressure in human design i know what my design is made up of and looks like and so i know that i don't have my root center defined so energetically, if I feel pressure or if I feel any kind of energy that's like, get this done right now, I know that that's not my energy. I know that that's something outside of me that is pulling and calling to me, to my energy. And I have a choice. I get to pause and breathe and feel my body and myself and ask, is this urgent? Is any of this urgent? And none of it is, none of it's urgent. <laughs> At any moment you can stop and, and breathe with yourself and meditate and it's just, it's beautiful. So you get to release all that pressure and just be for a moment. And it's always that foundation of self-love. Do I love myself enough to take this moment? What you and I did just a moment ago was I think it was like three, four minutes. Just taking three to four minutes to just silence with self. Watching the thoughts, observing the thoughts. Oh, interesting. That's what you want me to think about today. Thanks, self. <laughs> and knowing that every thought is not something to it's not a call to action, it's just simply something to note. I just like to say interesting. Interesting, thank you. Just feel into your body for a moment. Our earth, our consciousness is calling so deeply for love of the self. 
It's calling for you to love yourself. Our collective energy needs it. Just know and understand that you are worthy. You are worthy of being here. You are worthy of loving yourself. You are worthy of taking the time to be able to be with self like this. You are worthy to be a human in this lifetime. How amazing. Hmm. You're just so worthy to be loved. Hmm. I'm so grateful for you for loving yourself. Hmm. Feel that gratitude. Feel the gratitude within your soul right now. <laughs> Breathe in love. Then gratitude. <sighs> Give yourself what you need at this moment. You bring it into the physical as you consciously breathe in what you need in this moment. Breathe in security. Breathe in abundance. What are you breathing in today? Breathe it all in.
goodness, you are so worthy. So, so worthy. Literally just by being yourself. Just by waking up. Inherently, you are worthy. Nothing outside of you can sway you from that. Nothing outside of you can tell you otherwise, show you otherwise, present to you otherwise, because you are you. And only you set the standard for who you are. And you are worthy every single day. Be brave, write it out, say, I love myself. I love myself. Because that is the foundation. I love myself enough to show up for myself. I love myself enough to believe that I'm worthy. I love myself enough to create the boundaries that are necessary for me to shine in the light that I intend to shine in. I love myself for giving myself this life. Every moment, every action that I choose creates the life that I'm living and I'm grateful that those actions are mine. I'm at least grateful for the awareness of the actions and if they are not actions that are leading me to my highest life my highest self and i get to consciously choose to transmute those actions into something that are for my highest self i get to do that as a human your life can literally be a different life tomorrow and next week a year from now you could completely have a different life and just by knowing that just by staying curious about what life can give you you just find more and more that you are worthy of experiencing it all you get to have it all just gotta believe it it always comes back to that you have to believe that you can have it and so you have to love yourself enough to claim and know and feel and embody that you believe it it's all yours mm. Breathe all of that in, breathe it in to accept, accept that claim that is yours.
breathing in, breathing in all that you want to accept today, claiming all that is yours today with each breath. You deserve it all. Every drip of that deliciousness. <laughs> it's just such a blessing, just such a blessing. Thank you so much for showing up for you. for showing up for your soul and for who you are. I'm so, so grateful. It's literally my mission. My purpose here to, to heal to heal the souls, to help the souls integrate within the human experience, the human body, the human excitement. There's so much gratitude to be here. And I feel like a lot of the, the humanness is kind of daunting and in a dark light in a lot of ways. For instance, capitalism and bills and working, putting all of your energy into something outside of self rather than being home and in the community. And so I, I like to remind people and I'm here to remind people of the soul aspect of our existence. We are humans, we must do certain things as humans here during this time, during this timeline. But we also must get to the core of self, get to the understanding, the foundation of self. Who are you, beautiful soul? Chances are it's been a while since you've sat with yourself and truly asked yourself what you want and answered truthfully and honestly. It could be as simple as you want to go to the park and swing on some swings. You don't say it out loud because you judge yourself or you think it's immature or you think there's a age limit to something that you want to do, that you intend to do. And that's why I show up to continue to push forward, that you are a blessing here and you are worthy of literally every single thing that your heart can imagine. 
and that you are more than all of this humanness, all of the human things that may come first before you realize your self-love. <laughs> soon all of those things will be secondary yes yes I have to pay rent I have to pay for these certain things I have to pay for these foods and these things and I make money in this way in order to pay for these things and I also go outside and I nurture my soul and I also socialize and get around people and fuel my energy and put forth my energy as they put forth theirs and we mind and we meld and we see what we can create because why are we together on this day what made you and i connect on this day today what kind of soul alchemy are we here to embody and create today had we not shown up for ourselves had we not left the comfort zone of the home we never would have known so leave beautiful soul, get out of your comfort and go meet some be other beautiful souls. Go to an event, plan a get together at a park, go to some social thing that's new, that's different of people that you don't know and really challenge yourself to be curious about what life can bring you, about what life is gonna surprise you with today. You may connect with someone that you never in life even thought <laughs> it's just so fun it's so fun to see who you'll meet because you just can't forget that we are souls and human bodies which means you might meet a beautiful young soul within an old body that you would have judged and never been friends with but now you are just having the most wonderful time with them also you could be an old soul and you finally get to speak to these older souls who have been here for a while and you're like oh gosh i just feel so at home this is wonderful <laughs> oh there's so much to just be grateful for about humanship and about being here and when we allow the capitalism and we allow money and we allow all of the different systems that we kind of have to just plug into in order to survive when we allow those things to be our purpose to be our first energies that we put towards the day and towards ourselves and that's when we just lose ourselves that's when we are further from the goal of getting to know self and i'm gonna add this those systems the capitalism the things that are in place they thrive on you not loving yourself. It is so important to have a group, a ginormous group of potential lights to be dimmed so that they can indeed fit into any kind of mold, any kind of system and go, go, go and never put their heads up and realize that stepping into one's purpose is where your abundance is. And in being in that purpose, you immediately align with the frequency of what money is. Money is energy. And as soon as you step into your frequency, your purpose, your highest self, you get that return. You never had to be in a slump down into the system of a box to make that money. So, but when you're building a business, and well to them back you know when you're building a business people listen to structures and fit into boxes more easily when they don't have their own thoughts when they are not identifying and editing everything in their own way they want you all to not love yourself and I'm here to say stop that love yourself 100% always and that means taking time to meditate get to know your body get to know your soul and keep coming back so I'm gonna show up for you as much as I can here at noon okay I love you and please spread your light spread it to all the souls they need you <laughs> you need you <laughs>